Welcome to Learn Law Better. Are you going to take an open book exam? Do you know the right way to prepare for one? Stay to the end for five tips that will help you write better and help you become more successful. By the way, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the share button below. Hi, this is Bo Buys, and today I want to provide you with five tips for succeeding on an open book exam. An open book exam is one where you can bring all of your notes, your books, your study aids, your practice cards, flashcards, into the exam room. When I attended law school, all of my exams were open book. And do you know what? I didn't get all A's because I didn't understand how to take open book exams. Here is the lie which I believed at the time and which many of you watching this video believe. Hey, it's an open book exam. I'll have my notes, so all I have to do is look it up if I need anything to help me during the exam. Guess what? Because of that attitude, I didn't prepare long or well enough. Also, during an exam, you really don't have much time to look anything up. Tip number one. Treat an open book exam like a closed book exam. If you don't do this, you're going to let your guard down and you will get a lower grade. By preparing for a closed book exam, you will learn the material at a deeper level, which is what you need for better grades. Tip number two, use the three note method when preparing for your exam. The three note method, which I covered in a prior episode, includes your notes, your rule outline, and then a one page outline. This third outline is what you memorize. Memorize, you say? Why would I do that for an open book exam? You need to do this so that you can recall the information quickly on exam day. Otherwise, you'll fumble around looking through your notes when you could have learned the material long before exam day. Remember, you have more time before an exam to prepare than during the examination time. Tip number three. Create flashcards using the Lettner box approach. This approach, which I discussed in an earlier episode, is a way for you to learn the rules better. In a nutshell, you create three boxes or stacks. All of your cards start in box or stack number one. As you learn a card, it goes to the next stack, which you review less often. When you review the items in stack two, you do the same thing, moving the card up to stack three or down to stack one if you didn't really learn the card well. Tip number four, create your own outline. You might be tempted to skip writing an outline since you have your notes, but law school outlines are much more about the creation process than they are about the content. When you create your outline and then you revise it, you're going to begin to understand the law better. You're going to see those connections that you missed the first time around. Failing to write your own outline will almost keep you from getting the highest grades in the class. Now, if you're okay with B's or lower, grab a commercial outline or some upperclassman's outline who aced the class. Now, keep in mind, the reason that that upperclassman aced the final is because he or she made their own outline. Tip number five, pre-write the essay exam before you show up for the final. As I discussed a few weeks ago, a typical law school essay exam is made up of predictable issues and sub-issues. You can create the perfect paragraph for each issue and sub-issue and even decide in advance how you're going to deal with a particular issue. For instance, in a criminal procedure final, create a paragraph discussing the warrant requirement. Then create another paragraph for each of the many exceptions to the warrant requirement. And since this is an open book exam, you can just copy directly from this exam outline that you created a few weeks before, which is going to save you lots of time on exam day. That additional time can then be used on the analysis portion of your essay. If you'd like to see more episodes that can help you succeed, hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out learnlawbetter.com where you will find more resources to help you get ahead, including my blog, newsletter, and exam bank. Thanks for watching.